Kijk, jij zit te meer de vis. <laughs> for like half an hour I think and we didn't even set up our rods and then suddenly uh, I was still rigging up one of my 40 centimeter trials and then we heard a noise in the background and Eric got a really really good fish on a 40 centimeter trout. Out with uh, two other guys from White Label Fishing, Frans van der Putten and Rick Visser and I'm out today with my savage co-angler and buddy Eric Visser and we are out today trolling with Big Lures, the biggest out there, 40 centimeter trouts. This is actually a game where we are playing all or nothing. We are aiming to get a couple big fish. Um, if we get one it's already a successful day. It's not an easy game, especially on these river lakes you need to have patience, a lot of patience. It can happen that you can get zero takes throughout the entire day. And then on the final 15 minutes of the day, you can catch one or two really big fish. Today we are out trolling roughly three kilometers an hour. We are trying to keep our baits above like a minimum of five meters, but we're also targeting the pelagic pike, which are out on the deep open water, which are hovering above 20, 25, 30 meters of water. And those are usually the spots in August, because we're fishing in August at the moment, where those big fish are lurking. Um, new personal best. Yes. New personal best buddy. Finally. Finally. <laughs> well, Something tells me, but I don't want to jinx it. We might get another one today. Uh, this was already an amazing start. Even though I'm stoked about the fact that we caught such a big fish, uh, I do hope that it's not the last fish of the day. <laughs> Usually it's better to get the big fish on the end of the day. Now we're like, still, it's good that we have this, uh, this amazing fish. Congratulations once again, Eric, and uh, let's try and catch another one. We're just uh, putting on our rain gear because there's an incoming rainstorm. A good sized fish, at least it feels like a good sized fish. Missed a lot of fish, like three in a row. Father oh, lost it. Feels like a heavy fish, buddy. I hope so. Heavy head shakes as well. The high takes now. The other guy's up ahead. And it's gone again. <laughs> this? Might be another uh, 120 plus. That could be, yeah. Whoa! 
joking about it. Fucking catfish on a 32 centimeter hose. <laughs> Yeah, let's aim for a pike uh, about the size of that catfish. That will be good, right? Ready. The following hours only resulted in a lot of rain, so we decided to head back to the car and pick up the barbecue. Because hey, what is summer fishing without a proper outdoor barbecue? fish well that's what we came for like the one with the 24 that Eric caught was amazing but I'm pretty happy with this fish too really light colors as well big head big strong tail let's get some quick measurements and some photos and uh, get her back key for trolling on these big river lakes is that you use big baits 40 centimeter trout this is a classic albino trout color and then we have the 32 centimeter roach on which i caught that big old catfish key is with these swim baits is that you want to present it high up in the surface at least between zero and five meters of depth 
and then present it at a slow speed. What we usually do is we troll around between 2.7, 3.5 kilometers an hour. If you use the 40 pike, the 48 centimeter, which is also a really good bait for trolling on these big clear water lakes, uh, you need to step up the speed a bit because that bait requires a bit higher speed than the roaches and the trouts. What we use is rods like the SG4, the big bait specialist, or the good old Savage Gear Custom Predator. This is the 240 gram casting weight. What I really do like about this rod is that it is a stiff rod. That might sound a bit weird, but you need a stiff rod to set the hook, especially with these big rubber baits. Because if you look at all the tears that the pike are making in this bait, it's because they sink their teeth into this bait. You want to set the hook properly. Usually I tighten up the drag as well, which makes it also very important to use heavy braid. I'm using 0.32 silencer braid. So you can tighten up that drag, because if you don't set the hook properly, what usually happens, and I see a lot with guiding as well, people fish with these big baits, the pike sinks their teeth in, you fight the fish for like 30, 35 seconds, maybe even a minute, and then out of nothing, it spits the bait out. And that is, most of the time, because you didn't set the hook properly. So, tighten up your drag, use thick braid, and also use a rod like this, Savage Gear Custom Predator, to set the hook properly. If you do that, you will land more fish. So, it took a while, and a lot of rain, but now the, uh, the skies have broken open, the sun is coming through. We got another good pike on. Again on the 32 centimeter roach. It was on the inner corner, like uh, above 10 meters of water. The bait slowed down. I was watching my paravan and then good hit on it. Um, feels like a good fish, but I think it's the smallest of the three we already caught. Uh, we lost a couple smaller ones. One of Eric's baits has had a lot of scratches on it, so I think that fish, or that fish was probably a catfish that took his bait. So that would have been the second catfish that we caught. But now I'm just trying to get in this 30 centimeter roach with a proper pipe connected to it. And it's coming to the boat quite rapidly now, so I'm just gonna tighten the drag a bit. Make sure you give it a go, trolling like this, big baits on big clear open water. Try to catch a couple of really good fish before the winter really kicks in. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. And uh, follow Eric as well. Instagram, at Eric Fisher, fishing guide. Right? Yes. Cool. Cheers guys. <laughs> see you. Bye. <laughs>